Good afternoon. I'm here at the CBTC World Congress. My name is Daniel Lusmo. I'm Head of Production at Global Transport Forum. I'm joined by Gabrielle Kolsiak from our lead sponsor, Talis. And Gabrielle has just run a breakout session looking at enhancing the passenger experience. Gabrielle, when capital managers are looking at deploying CBTC, how should it be project managed to ensure that not only you have the CBTC system, but to get the most out of it and really exploit the technology? Well, Daniel, um, as we've seen in the, in the breakout session, um, I, I really believe that operators and, uh, let's say, uh, city traffic planning and management agencies um, can uh, use a lot more of the CBTC uh, capabilities um, at upfront, at the uh, city planning or the metro planning phase. Um, and obviously those that already have this type of technology in operation would be better um, advised by their own, uh, uh, let's say, people uh, in uh, specifying upfront the interfaces uh, and the type of integration and interaction that the CBTC uh, pure or core signaling uh, technology should have in order to increase the benefit of their investment into a CBTC system. And I think we're, we're still uh, in the early stages of, uh, of, the, of understanding how uh, powerful, in fact, and how rich um, this type of technology is and uh, what kind of value-added services can support without, without obviously uh, uh, disturbing it uh, from its uh, fundamental purpose, which is safety and, and uh, performance of, of the line. What other technologies available could be integrated with CBTC in order to give the operator and ultimately the passenger more value-added services? Um, well, we can start with the uh, modern telecommunication technology, which, which you know, CB is communication-based train control, but I have to say that uh, the focus uh, being on train control, the communication side of it is sometimes uh, uh, overlooked. Um, so, so definitely, um, operators uh, should be careful of how they specify the interaction between train control and uh, what they plan to do in terms of, for example, uh, data management for uh, other, other services for passengers, uh, security, access, uh, incident management, so on and so forth. Um, other types of uh, technology, obviously everything that relates to uh, the uh, uh, geolocalization uh, from, from uh, GPS devices, which uh, some of them actually uh, uh, people don't realize that some of the GPS technology can be used in tunnels as well. It's not just <laughs> not just for uh, outside. Uh, uh, then uh, you would have um, uh, breakthroughs in uh, uh, technologies related to uh, data management and data mining that could be used again in order for the operators to provide value-added services, uh, whether for for commerce, for safety, for security of passengers, for comfort, um, which in fact are far more visible to the end user and would probably be easier used by the transit operators to justify investment in a CBTC uh, 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 train control system than uh, the more, let's say, uh, uh, hidden aspects of signaling, which are truly for the specialist. And it's, it's almost, the comparison is probably best with uh, air traffic management, where um, if passengers don't really realize uh, what the air traffic management system is, is doing and how important it is. What they care about is their, you know, their comfort, their entertainment, their security, and their safety. And I think uh, transit authorities still have a way to go in specifying and taking care of these aspects. And, uh, and of course, there are uh, companies like Thales, <laughs> which uh, uh, through the nature of their portfolio and experience, uh, you, you, you may know that Thales is an actor in, uh, in electronics control, both civil and military, uh, and integrating large complex information systems, safety or non-safety, uh, can contribute, this, this kind of experience can contribute uh, to um, 
improving, let's say, the way operators uh, define uh, and specify their systems. Obviously, it's important, as you said, these sort of value-added services can improve the business case if they're integrated properly at the beginning of the planning cycle. How important are uh, forums such as this in terms of bringing the operators together so that they have the platform and the opportunity to understand some of these issues? And how important is it for you to come here and meet these operators to explain your message? Well, all, all the forums that bring uh, operators together and suppliers, uh, suppliers together and, and both together are, are welcome. And I think uh, they're good opportunities for exchange. Um, obviously, we, suppliers do have customers that they interact with, uh, but they can learn about um, new customers and new needs, and vice versa, operators, uh, they do have their own communities, uh, uh, let's say uh, associations, so on and so forth, and they do exchange, but never enough. Um, and I think uh, uh, this type of event is very, very useful. Uh, and what I appreciate most is also the interactivity of this event. Uh, and, and that's one area where you, you guys have been quite successful. And I think uh, the more interaction you promote and, uh, and the fewer PowerPoint presentations, the better. Perfect. Gabriel, thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you.